So you realize that your home is making you sick. And it's not you really that's sick, it is the building. And you are just a sponge living in that building, so you're starting to absorb all of that. Uh, and we just had to do it again and again, so I think I consider myself a pretty good expert now. Um, and I didn't go extreme. I know some people got out and they went to the desert or they go live in a tent or... I couldn't do that, not with a teenager or a husband just from Jamaica. That was a little unreasonable. So what did we do? We got to a hotel. Um, I called my church right away, my family to help us with, with money. We didn't have the money prepared to do that. Um, but now I, I, I learn, and hindsight is definitely 2020. So my instinct was to just leave everything because you know it's dirty. Um, but then we kept getting caught up down the road time and time again that you, you have things that you need. You know, you might have some memorabilia that you really want. And you're going to have to make some quick decisions because every day you leave those things in that home that you left, they're continuing to get sick. They're getting worse. So um, the quicker you make the decision to get out, the better. Um, the quicker you decide that it's just about your health and it doesn't matter what you have, um, what you've saved, your furniture. Uh, I wouldn't save anything if I were you. Just leave it all and start over again. I'm not going to lie. Even my doctor said, well, you can take metal and glass. They go by levels of porosity. The more porous an item is, the more dangerous it is. So they said anything, paper, um, press board, you know, lightweight paper, anything that, that you cannot take. Some people have. I've seen, I've read where some people take their clothing and they said they were okay with it. I'm going to tell you, I was so sensitive. I was so sick. You know, if you if you learn quickly enough, um, I'm going to show you some some items later that maybe could help you to keep some things. But, um, you know, we, we collect a bunch of crap. We have so much stuff and any little thing. Uh, they had told me cases of a lady that, you know, months later, a dog toy, a dog toy that was exposed was continuing to make her sick. And... I'm definitely going to tell you in my healing, uh, mold exposure was really bad. And Atlanta, Georgia was, was, was really bad. It's, it's inland. And that was the worst being re-exposed in places. But worse was the stuff that made us sick. That same combination of mold is what was really bad. So that's why you just want to get rid of everything. But I'm going to give you some specific tips. I'm going to show you some, some products later that can help you. If you have to go to somebody's home, I've also read about people that went to somebody else's home and their home had mold. Uh, we had offers to stay at places in Georgia, husband's friends, and I knew unfortunately, even if their home wasn't moldy, they used perfumes, they smoked, um, there was a lot of things. And so the first time we were able to stay in a hotel, uh, then we were able to get another apartment and that apartment had mold. We had to leave that apartment. Uh, and a big piece was that we kept trying to bring our stuff along. So I would say just just get rid of it. Um, the other thing with getting rid of it is difficult that, you know, I didn't want to expose anybody else. Sometimes we were throwing out washer and dryer and people wanted to grab it. You know, I wanted to put signs on it. So but people are desperate to get things. They think it's free, you know, but and maybe it won't make them sick. So I definitely knew right away we had to get rid of our beds. Um, I had memory foam beds. They were thick. They had to go. The washer and dryer, we couldn't even think to carry it because of the weight and, you know, just the expense that we're going to be in a hotel where you storage this stuff. So we had somebody right away that wanted it, and they came back and told us that the washer and dryer, yeah, was filled with mold. Um, so what are the critical things? You know, the critical things right now is your, is your paperwork. Um, I had a lockbox, but I didn't really keep it locked. I had one of those... Um, fire box fire and water damage boxes those are critical everybody should keep a file cabinet like that in their home and keep your stuff in it so if something like this happens it's sealed up and you can easily take it with you if you don't a great thing is was glass jars we just got some some you know you can use some used glass jars and keep your passports and items like that any papers that you think are really critical you know get them into a glass jar so that you can store so at least you know, um, those toxins aren't getting out. Um, if they're pictures and memorabilia that you love, again, if it's paintings, you know, unless it's something that's really valuable, 
we just had to take pictures and we had to dump it and it's it's heartbreaking but the longer we try to keep it just down the road again we had to we had to toss it and to give you some examples of things that we tried to keep we were told that we could keep um you know computers and tvs expensive we thought we can keep them and a few months down nope the mold just kept growing inside them you know you maybe have to bring them to a professional um and there are some ways to clean them but it'll it'll get through the cords it gets into the plastic um things that you would least expect and i swear to you that's the truth just just try to get rid of everything i'm not gonna lie because anything we kept became you know longer to get through the health you know the health was was is so much more valuable health is everything health is your wealth so um we did keep some of those things uh so yeah glass jars for your paperwork um, if you can get somebody maybe who's not as sensitive to scan some of your stuff or bring it to a place, but I'm going to let you know there's just so much expense that's going to come out at this point. It's just not worth it. Just take the pictures that you can and, and trash it. Clothing can be replaced. Everything can be replaced. Um, my wedding dress, I had only just recently gotten married. I try to keep it. I try to keep it. And then I'm going to tell you the way I saw metal, metal metal table right now i'm on i'm on the metal table and as soon as we get some money i'm throwing out this this metal table because it, it's still the, the metal eroded you know um and you have to lower that toxic load so again toxic load if your body is like a like a push cart you know a shopping cart and you keep putting those toxins in there smoke pesticides you know environmental toxins uh you name it, uh, perfumes. In fact, I'll give you the biggest ones right now are the plug-in air fresheners, really bad. The um, dryer sheets, one of the most dangerous things people use. There are some free ones. I'm not sure what my doctor would say about them, but most of them have uh, nowadays all perfumes. Most perfumes are using synthetic uh, GMO, GMO styles. So unless they're um, natural oils that are in glass, they told us no food no food no supplements no vitamins unless they were in glass bottles um again so my advice would have been to just throw out everything and just be happy with you know to show it off your back uh and eyeglasses even that can absorb um so i'm going to show you some cleaning stuff later and then you can make decisions on what you can keep but I would say make that survival plan right away. You know, what you absolutely need to keep. And the paperwork was a big one. I would have had a plan for the passports and the birth certificates. As I said, right away, get them to a glass jar. Um, maybe jewelry, same thing. I would have put them in glass jars that maybe they could be uh, clean later. Um, costume jewelry. But anything that's plastic or synthetic stones, you're just not going to know how much is absorbed. And those little items can be... You know so much more so get yourself out um don't bring stuff in your vehicle because you'll contaminate your vehicle try to just get out with what you're wearing some people have had to you know go to the store quickly get a change of clothes um as much as you can do that yeah your healing is going to be much better um and i'll be back to tell you what you need to bring so that if you go to another environment um you can lessen that that toxic load so that you can't do it because you have to get you have to get to clean air you absolutely have to it's critical that you get to clean air clean environment and this to me is for everybody it's not just somebody escaping mold it's anything that's making you sick anything that's got you addicted or, or caught up in that negative cycle um you just have to get away from it so I'll go more into depth in my in my videos, you know, going forward, I'll, I'll zero in on some of the topics. But right now, this is to the people that, you know, you found mold, you think there's mold in your home, somebody maybe in your family is sick, and, and you got to get out. And I'm also going to tell you that just because somebody else is not showing symptoms right now doesn't mean uh, even in the studies I had read, they said, well, it depends on your genes. And I'm going to tell you, I think that's nonsense because I'm, I'm recuperating now better and faster than my son and my husband who were much younger and maybe had so-called better genes. And it's because of my protocol, because of the clean protocol. 
So this clean protocol will work for anyone. And it wasn't the extreme one. And I'll talk more into that about some of the things that people are doing that were just a little, a little wild, a little crazy. And I don't think anything I've done is that radical, you know? So um, I'll be back in a little bit to tell you what to bring. So just get out, you know, there's moisture, get out safely, get some glass jars to keep some of your belongings, uh, keep a list of what they are. And then, yeah, papers and things just cannot be cleaned. So try to save your computer work on a, on a flash drive maybe. Uh, I think Apple, Apple products are a little bit better. Anything that has a fan, any electronic that has a fan in it, they told me later that that fan sucks in mold as much as it's letting out. So if you bring it to a new environment, it's just going to let that out. And they are difficult, if almost impossible, to clean. 